find the decimal expansion of the following. This is example 5. Find the decimal expansion of the following. 10 by 3. So, 10, 3 times 9, 1. So, point 0, again 3, 9, 1, 0, 3, 9, again continuing like this. So, the decimal expansion of 10 by 3 is equal to 3.333 etc. That means it is not ending. So, we can say it as non-terminating. It is non-terminating and 3 is repeating. The digit 3 is repeating. So, we can say non-terminating recurring. This we can write as 3.3 bar. So, this decimal is non-terminating recurring. So, 10 by 3 is a rational number. We got the decimal as non-terminating recurring. Then second one is 7 by 8. So, 0 0.0. 0. So, it is 8. 64. Then we are getting 6. 60. So, 56. 4. So, 40. It is 5. 40 remained 0. So, the decimal expansion is 0 0.875 which we can say as terminating decimal, terminating decimal. First one was non-terminating recurring, this is terminating. So, the decimal expansion of this rational number is non-terminating recurring. The decimal expansion of this rational number is terminating. So, next one is 1 by 7. 0 0.0173. So, it is 7 fours are 28. 2, 20. 7 twos are 14. So, it is 6, 60. So, 8, 56, 4, 40. 7 fives are 35. So, what we are getting is 5, 50. I will write the remaining here. So, 50, 7, 7, 7 are 49 and we are getting 1. So, it is 7 here, then 10, so 1 again, 7, so it is 1 here, so it is 3 again thirty and so on. So what we are getting is this is repeating. Zero point one four two eight five seven is repeating. So what we can say is zero point one four two eight five seven. So this is the answer. This is also non terminating and recurring. So what we can say is the decimal expansion of a rational number is either terminating or non-terminating recurring. The decimal expansion of a rational number is either terminating or non-terminating recurring. Then a number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating recurring, it, we can say it is a rational number. If it is a rational number, it is non-terminating, recurring or 
terminating. If the decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating recurring, we can say it is a rational number. That means rational number implies either terminating or non-terminating recurring. If the decimal expansion is either terminating or non-terminating recurring, we can say it is a rational number. Example 6 show that 3.142678 is a rational number. So, we can write this as how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 along with 6 zeros. 10 lakh. This is the rational number. So, this is actually terminating decimal. So, clearly we can write it as a rational number. Then next question, seventh one, show that 0 0.333 etc is equal to 0 0.3 bar can be expressed in the form P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. So, it is non-terminating recurring. If it is non-terminating recurring, it is a rational number. So, we can write it in the form P by Q. So, the question is to write this 0 0.3 bar in the form of P by Q. So, for this, let x is equal to 0 0.333 etc. Here only one digit is repeating. If only one digit is uh, one digit repeats what you have to do is multiply this equation by 10. So, 10x is equal to 0 0.333 etc into 10. The first equation 1. So, this is equal to 10x is equal to 3.333 etc. Equation 2. So, into 10 means we have to make one decimal place has to go right. So, 3.333 etc. Then what you have to do is 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 gives 10x minus x is the LHS, RHS is 3.333 etc minus 0 0.333 etc. So, it is equal to 9x and when you subtract this you will get 3. So, x is equal to 3 by 9 which is equal to 1 by 3. This is the decimal conversion of a non-terminating recurring decimal to a rational number non-terminating recurring decimal to a rational number. So, 3 by 9 which is equal to 1 by 3. What we have done is we have taken x as 0 0.333 etc. So, one digit is repeating you have to multiply by 10. So, when you multiply you should multiply to both sides. So, 10 x is equal to 0 0.333 etc into 10. So, 10 x is equal to 3.333 etc. So, which you can mark as second equation. Then 2 minus 1 will give 10 x minus x which is equal to 3 that is 9 x is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3 by 9 which is equal to 1 by 3.